Okay, let's look at this question. This appeared in CAT 2023. It's a question based on mixtures and allegations. Anil mixes cocoa with sugar in the ratio 3 to 2 to prepare mixture A. So there is this mixture A or vessel A that is prepared by mixing cocoa and sugar in the ratio 3 to 2. So there's cocoa in it and there's sugar in it. Right, so what is the concentration of cocoa here? 3 upon 5 into 100, which is 60%. And what is the concentration of sugar here? 2 upon 5 into 100, which is 40%. Next, and coffee with sugar in the ratio 7 is to 3 to prepare mixture B. So there's another mixture B that he is carrying that has coffee and sugar in the ratio 7 is to 3. So coffee is 7 parts out of 10 into 100, that is 70%. And sugar is 3 parts out of 10, that is 30%. He combines mixtures A and B in the ratio 2 is to 3 to make a new mixture C. So he's combining these two to make a new mixture C. Okay, and now the ratio is also given in which he's mixing these two mixtures. So let's see what the concentration of sugar is going to be here. So concentration of sugar in A is 40%, in B is 30%. What is the volume the ratio in which these are mixed? 2 is to 3. I have to find out what is the sugar concentration going to be in C. I can find out using allegation, simple concept, right? You do this 40 minus X upon three is equal to X minus 30 upon two, or you use this concept. This way, make video and you can check it within a concept notes playlist that I've created on my YouTube channel. Okay. But here I'm just going to explain it to you briefly. So whenever the volume is getting mixed in a certain ratio, Say in this case is two is to three. So the concentration that is going to be there, the resultant concentration, it is going to be in the ratio. It is going to be in the inverse ratio of the volume. So this is going to be three is to two, right? So this is going to be three is to two. What this means is that this X, this resultant concentration of sugar is going to be three parts away from 40 or two parts away from 30. Right. Once, I mean, we know that this X is going to be between 30 and 40, right? Now, how far away from 40, how far away from 30 is what this concept tells us. It's like a shortcut. It's inspired from allegations only. So volume ratio is 2 is to 3. Concentration ratio is going to be inverse of it, which is 3 is to 2, which is 3 parts away from this concentration and 2 parts away from this concentration, right? So that means X is going to be 3 parts away from 40 or 2 parts away from 30. Right. Let's say that the dis, uh, I mean, we know the distance between 30 and 40 is of 10%. Right. 10% has to be divided into 3 plus 2, 5 parts. So 5 parts of total 10%. That means one part is going to be of 2%. So this X value that I'm trying to find is 2 into 3, 6% away from 40 or 2 into 2, 4% away from 30, in between 30 and 40, right? I know that value is 34. Okay, so this mixture C has 34% sugar. Okay, now if he mixes C with an equal amount of milk to make a drink, right? Kya banana cha rahe, bon vita, right? Or some cocoa drink. Then the percentage of sugar in this drink will be, is what we need to find out. So what is happening is the C that has 34% sugar is supposed to mix kara with milk that has 0% sugar. Okay. In the ratio 1 is to 1. Again, you can use allegations. Right. Simple. This resultant percentage is what you can find out using allegations ka formula. But again, I'm going to use this concept that concentration ratio is inverse of volume ratio. So volume ratio of C and milk is 1 is to 1. So the concentration ratio is going to be inverse of it, which is again 1 is to 1. Right? So is your resultant, hai mera. this resultant that I need to find out, say P percent, is one part away from 34 and one part away from 0. Right? Between 0 and 34. Right? So 0 to 34, it's a distance of 34 percent. It has to be divided in 1 plus 1, 2 parts. So each part is 17%. So whatever this resultant mixture is, 
is 1 into 17. 17% 17 more than 0 or 1 into 17. 17% less than 34, which is 17% only. So the answer to this question is 17%, which is my option. Okay. Uh, not written options here, but this was an option based question. So answer to this question is 17%. I hope this is clear. If you have any doubts on this concept, as I said, uh, there'll be a video within concept notes. You can access that. You can watch that to have a better understanding of this shortcut. If not, you can use allegations. Try it out yourself and you'll see the pattern that I'm talking about. Thank you.